Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Dramic, and welcome back to more of Minecraft Hardcore. There's a cast in our tunnel. But no, uh, last episode, if you weren't here, we finished our, um, our foray into building an iron farm. And this time will be our final episode on 1.19. Uh, very weird, I know. But uh, I've decided we're going to upgrade next episode. Um, I'm pretty sure I said something to the extent of last episode of we'll upgrade this episode. Um, I have had a brief change of heart on that. And you'll see what I mean. But there's like some last minute changes I want to make. And the first thing, um, yeah. Now, who the f. Oh. Is that a. Is that a universal thing? Okay, okay. This is. This is bad, but at least not all our work went to waste. In case you don't know, we need to place torches on every single block unless we want a iron golem to spawn and in our infinite wisdom um because we had to mess around with you know destroying blocks to get the boats down and what have you you can get in there i will deal with these guys in a minute but um is this still is this one that was missing a zombie it is yes um but basically because of how we were messing around with blocks last time we forgot to place certain um torches back where we perhaps maybe needed to and I think it's resulted in an iron golem spawning in that one and killing a zombie, so he is fine. It's just, um, we now need to wrangle two more zombies back in. So I'm very glad this wasn't an exploring episode, because if I hadn't gone and checked that, oh, that probably would have ran unchecked, you know? Also, we need to do a bit of terraforming. It's like, I know it's a boring episode, but it's like a bit more chill, because I don't need to refer to a tutorial every four seconds. So, you know, I'm thinking it's still a nice bit of a, a chill, lo-fi vibe. We just maybe, um, actually, ooh. All right, sun's going down. Well, I'm feeling. We try and get those zombies in. Very, very first thing. Get, 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 get the air task out of the way. And then, um, as per what the tutorial said, we need to level out the area near our iron farm. Just so it, um, just so it fixes the spawn rates or logic. I think if we have it one too low, that increases the chance of them spawning. So... In theory, if we heighten it, good shit happens. No, God, I wish I had extra fish. What the fuck? And uh, motherfucker, you climbed the ladder. <laughs> right. Well, we can stay in there. Um, <laughs> weird thing to witness: the cat ascending to the heavens, as you do, of course. Anyway, so that's not all this. Ah, this will be a good excuse to get rid of some dirt. We've had this piling up a while, and I... You thought all the dirt we were saving wouldn't have a use? Nah, nah, my machinations simply lay undetected for generations until now. <laughs> Definitely not. Cause, like, I thought I needed it, just not specifically for this purpose. And... Hmm. Love that sunset. I really do like these shaders. Are we still on... I don't know which ones exactly we're on. I still think we're on Silda's Vibrant Shaders. So I, I do find it kind of funny that, um, oh, we need to take you out as well, yeah. Maybe this is like a pseudo um, Iron Farm episode without me realising, oops. But, in any event, oh no, son of a, I've just realised this is going to be a right nightmare. So there's two of these that we need to get zombies into now, but there's um, also two of these, you know. We need to bring these guys to their deaths with, like, Post haste, because otherwise they're just gonna kill any zombies I try and lure in. And uh, you're like close to death, but I kind of want your iron anyway. That's bothersome. That is this. I can't tell. Is this working away at my durability? I'm, I'm keeping an eye on the thing at the bottom. I think it is. Huh? Son of a. You may actually making me. Yes, yes, yes. Walk in, walk in, walk in. Now, -uh, walk in. That's fine. This works too. Ha! In you go. Beautiful. Now, Sayonara. And now for the fun part, there's a bit of screen glare on my screen, so I'm going to have a bit of a trouble seeing, but it's this one and that one over there that we need to get these zombies into. God knows it's going to be a hassle, because it was last time, but with any luck, if the spawn rates are mildly on our side, it should make it that tiny bit more tolerable, you know? It's like every little helps in a situation like this. Now, um, I think it is officially dark enough for mobs to start spawning, so if I can see zero skeletons and all the zombies, I would love that. Just gotta be, gotta be careful, um, because if I find two zombies at once, I have a feeling I'm gonna try juggling them and have that end in travesty. You massive load of mobs there, none of them are the ones I want. It's like, ugh, classic Minecraft. Uh, how about here? Any anything looking particularly? Yes, okay, you look particularly undead, as do you, my other 
friend from the grave. Let's get a party going. Okay, right, right, right. Come on, come with me. And we'll see. So, and the butterflies and bees. Um, it's not even regular show. That's adventure time. Um, now. Oh, God. Okay, I, I'm like juggling attention here. I hear you, spider. Okay, uh, first things first. Get you in here. One of you. No, one of you. One of you can get in there. I don't... Oh, but okay, okay, I'm kind of liking the efficiency of all this. Okay, is there a way that I can maybe only get one of you in? Fuck you, spider. I don't like you. And now I have to deal with you, though, which is the issue. Uh, okay, one of you could have fit in there, surely. Please. Okay, we oh, okay, okay. That was, put that in a museum. That was like pure accidental genius. Oh, okay, okay, scram that. Okay, and then we got one over here for you, and oh, he's looking down into his forever grave. Okay, and then just walk on over here like so. Bada bing, bada bap, and we'll let him walk on down. Beautiful. Honestly, I could not have asked for that to have gone any better. We just need to hassle around with this now, I believe. So let's do it. And then that's some you we you we need to break. And then you're trapped there. Yeah, this is. It, it's finicky, this, isn't it? Um, so how do we go about doing this? I believe we destroy this and replace it in a bit more of an ample position. It's like, yeah, you're gonna maul me. Oh, well. Oh, well. Nope, son of a... Right, you know, you take these out of my hands. That's probably why it um, injures me so much. It's like, just get get in the corner, get in the corner. Nope, no, nope. get it, get in and stay in. Thank you, sayonara. And we take these out of there, pop one there, pop one there. And we're free. Zombie number one is now in permanent residence. Oh, of course all of you show up now, of course. Of course, why are you not any earlier, you know? It's like, fine, fine. Why not last episode when I was struggling to actually get zombies? Why couldn't you show up then? Oh. And now, oh shit, no, oh shit, sorry, I did not mean to do that. And then now we got my boat in my inventory. This is like really dangerous, but oh well. Uh, no, just get, bugger off. Seriously, I'm, you are, you're making me angry. No, seriously, bloody hell. It's like, you're a right nuisance, you know that? Come on, there we are, get in, get in, stay there, badam, badam, and we didn't even need to destroy that for once. Yippee! Right, well, and then we jump out, pop that down, and there's zombies everywhere, so we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna go naturally sleep. Okay, he's gonna see, gonna walk in, nah, he's not feeling it. But, that should now be those guys permanently dealt with, and honestly, I'm, I'm very happy. I know you probably can't tell it in my voice, but I am very happy that that worked out. So... Hmm, then we're gonna celebrate ourselves with a bit of sleep, but um Then we can just spend the rest of the episode vibing and talking while we um Terraform the area around just need to make it make it a bit flatter. So it's not anything particularly too interesting But I am happy to have that like officially now Properly up and running it feels good it feels good. It puts a, puts a smile on my face. Shall we say? What we're gonna do is um uh, make sure to actually use it <laughs> Like, it's been, what, three and a half episodes getting it to work? Like, we better get our mileage out of this now. Are you still... Are you still being stupid? Right. Okay. Um... <laughs> oh, no. And he's not climbed any higher. Hmm. It's mildly alarming. Yeah, it's like, yeah, that's nothing to worry about, probably. It's like, ah, it's only a cat in the nether. It's like, what's it gonna do? What can it do? Nothing, hopefully. Ah. <sighs> anyway. I feel happy that that's over now, though. You know, we've officially... Um... We're officially free. Well, almost. We've got to put some dirt down, but... Free from almost dying making that damn thing, you know? Like, we'll take him as he come now. How am I gonna deal with you? Because I anticipate you're going to be an issue for spawn rates if I don't deal with you. Oh, that, that crit as well. And then... Beautiful! I just have to kill him because I'm like, I'm nervous if he does interfere with spawn rates. Although I'm kind of... Uh, on if that'll like decrease my reputation at either that village or that village or whatever. We just gotta be careful now that we've killed him. We don't know who will strike and where. And I think, literally, the only other thing we need to do is, um, as I've said like a gazillion times, just make this area a bit kitty. <laughs> just need to make this a little bit uh, more level throughout. Um, so yeah, we started here last episode, but just um, just kind of bringing up the dirt. Um, it's like it will look a bit ugly at points, but um, that is a sacrifice I am willing to make. It's like, what am I likely to notice? 
probably not. Who in the fuck? Ghost of Christmas, past, present, and motherfucking future. What the shit are you doing? You tweaking? Oh, he's he's going the long way round. Okay. What the what the fuck? What the fuck? Uh -huh. What? Oh, no. What the shit? Well, off you go. Uh, what the Jarvis analysis, please? What? What the? Like any anyone? Any, uh, uh, what? I think in the fucking. Uh, it's all off he goes. What the fuck? What the fuck, man? I. I. I've seen some shit in my time of playing this game, you know? I've seen some real, like, some real shit that, like, changes a man. Um, I think that one takes the cake. <laughs> what was he doing? I just, he's just like, uh, uh, I think I, today, I think I will suffocate myself. Yeah, ha, ha, ha. It's like, huh? I don't, I don't, what was the, what was his plan? What was he cooking? What was he, what was, what was he stewing? What do you think left on a low simmer? It's like, I don't... I don't... I don't know what the plan was there. Like, whatever the game was thinking, like, was possibly good spawn logic for that. It was just like, ah, it's like, yeah, it's maybe safe. So it just... He was stood there for so long, he was like, ah, this is fine. This is fine. My health's sticking down passively, but we're, we're okay, we're vibing, we're, we're being chilly. Oh, I love these cats, man. Um, I wonder if that's enough, possibly, like all this expansion we've done. I'd, I'd, I'd like one more way out here. Maybe even more here. But I don't know, maybe we do need to do it on the other side, but I haven't seen any particularly spawning over on this side as much as I have for that other one. And also, there's a big drop-off, so something's telling me there's none of you- none of you are in the cave, are you? know, it's like... I think if they fall in here, they'll likely despawn, so, hmm. I think maybe we leave the terraforming there for a little bit? Um... We'll hang around for a minute and see, but it seems like now they are quite consistently spawning them in the middle, which is like, eh, consistently enough is kind of the name of the game. So, million dollar question. Got some new victims on their way down now. Can hear them being cooked and prepared quite nicely. Question is, how much has it made us? Oh! You know what? Fair enough. Two stacks of iron I had to do nothing for. Yeah, sign me up. I love that. That's actually sick. Um. Huh. Actually, now it's over, we can reattach our, our torch permanently to our left hand. And, um, I assume we just. Are you the same one as before? I'd assume so. It's like, I kind of want to kick the shit out of you, but I'm scared that will harm my reputation. But it's like. Uh. It's not my problem. Well, it is actually, if any of you try to kill me, so we're just gonna have to, like. Look, I'm prepared. I can maybe kill you. Wait, ooh. No, I can kill you. We're gonna be positive here. Uh, yes, yes. Come to me with murderous intent, my jolly fellow. No, you you want me dead. You want me so oh, fucking dead. Show me that I love you. And then... And now, this should be high up enough. Oh. Hi. Die. Oh, sorry. So I got, I'm jumping for the crits, by the way. And now, we descend, and please don't have spawned in. No one's spawned in. Hell yeah, just gonna throw this in there, make the stats look a little nicer, throw these guys out because I can't be bothered, and you as well. And we run off away from the consequences of our actions and just hope that does its thing. Honestly, I have a good feeling about that. I don't know what it is, but like somewhere in me, I've just got... I got a good feeling about it. It's, it's one thing off the wall. Although, ooh, actually, we haven't added anything onto the wall for a while, have we? If you don't know, it's in the room where that cat climbed into earlier. It's just a wall of stuff we kind of want to do in this series. We can kind of check it off like a bucket list. But making an iron farm was one of the things on that thing. So we, realistically, we can go over there and see what we've accomplished. Like, yeah, we'll leave everything here for now. Rather do a big sale later in the future. But we can now, okay, we need to build the second half of this bridge first. But we can see what we can check off, and also, with the new update coming out, we can actually go ahead and potentially add some more stuff on. 
I think one of the things I already said was a, um, uh, we want to find a cherry biome. I'm not sure if we wrote that down officially, so, um, yeah, go nap aside if we don't have any make them, and we scheme forevermore. Oh, ho, 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 ho. So, hmm, I'm thinking cherry biome, I definitely want to go find that. Next episode will be it. Um, again, I was just kind of half waiting on Spotify to update, and then I got, hence this one. Um, what are those signs made out of? I mean, it's not birch, I apologize for anyone's OCD. But I'm just gonna do a bit of this, and it's gonna be oak signs, so I'm gonna get up there and it's oak, isn't it? Yeah, okay, well, this one, this one can be, um, different. So what do we got? We got house near cows, that still needs to be done. Beach furniture, we could do that soon. Farm decor, still need that. Iron golem farm, though, done. Monorail is now achievable with the Iron Golem farm. Netherite kit still a ways off. Gold farm needs to start. Beating the Ender Dragon and the Wither. Yep. Sky Base needs to do that. Melon farm. Uh, we technically made, if you think about it. Um, Ancient City found. Uh, not really. Um, Shulker. Nope. Underwater room. Also no. Mine access fast. I assume that's a railway again. Pretty feasible in the future. Village room decor. Also no. Mushroom biome. No. Nope. Walk song. Nope. Aquarium and the Ramic face. Also no. So, I'm gonna do first, uh, find cherry biome. Okay, that fits. Like, I just, I like the look of them. I think it would be nice. I think it would be pleasant to do half that. And then the second thing, um, this is something that I'm calling back to from ages ago. I think it was called Exploration Time, the episode. Um, the thumbnail is off the place I'm thinking of, though. We went exploring and found an ice biome, like, 40-something episodes ago, 30. Um, and I think I said this would be a good place for an extra base. So I actually do want to go and type out ice base. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna put. And I'm gonna rephrase it to mini ice base. Like as a, it exists. We can go there. Maybe it'll be a winter thing, but it's just gonna be small. You know, maybe a nice little winter lodge type thing. Kind of a break from the action like we did with the wall in the first season, but just acutely different and smaller in style. I think that's a better shout. Then, um, anything else? We could give ourselves some more short-term goals. Um, I don't know what inherently those would be. Uh, I think, I think all mending. I think, I think all mending. I uh, think all mending and chat. Yeah, no, I think, I think all mending works. Just have everything have mending on it. Like, we're close to doing that, but also it's just a good ambition to aim for. And, ooh, last but not least. Like, I could put a light tray, you know, because the end getting a light tray. I think purely for the prestige, that'd be nice, but it's not something I particularly want. Flying around in a hardcore world, to me, seems a bit dumb. Um, we could possibly do find the Woodland Mansion. There's a lot of Dark Oak Forest around. Eventually, we might find the one, you know? Um, could do that. Um, beyond that, I don't really know what else we could do. It's like we've already got so much written down. I think Elytra. Is Elytra the shout? We'll, we'll put Elytra. Elytra is like the very last thing. And I'm also going to do Elytra and Totems. Um, they are one and the same. I am not using an Elytra unless I have a Totem of Undying equipped. Um, that's why they're at the very last, because I don't particularly like either of those items, but with one pretty much, you know, justifies the existence of the other. Now, um, is that? Well, that's the wall. Ah, yeah, that's a nice, calming, normal sound. Um, but that's everything, I think. Like, what was that? It's not just me, right? I heard that. I, I, it'll be on video. It's like some sort of weird ethereal crunching sound. Like, the only thing I could really say it sounded like was what I'd imagine Skulk sounds like, but I doubt it is. Um, but I think that's, um, that's us done pretty much to my knowledge. We'll go through these in Misk, um, tidy up our inventory a little bit more, obviously. But that's kind of us done. It's like, yeah, we got a little bit of time extra, but, huh. And yeah, these guys are repopulating slowly but surely after we nicked most of them. And um, we're going to pop this guy away as well, actually. It's like, poor, poor fishing rod's been abused these last few episodes. But I think that's everything. So, yeah, we'll even dig up this chest. Um, it doesn't take you serve a purpose. We'll throw it in there for safekeeping. But um, I think that's everything. So, I think while I go harvesting these guys, we'll do the outro. So, if you have enjoyed, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. It all helps out a bunch. Let's know if you want some more of this and all that good stuff. Next time is the one. We're going for an explore. And probably for the next few episodes after that as well. But hey, it's a break from the base, you know. Maybe we'll see some cool new stuff. We're just going to travel a very far distance to do that. And with any luck, we won't end up reaching, like, the end of the world because my PC can't load it in. With luck.
And yeah, that's it for now. So until next time, we'll also know that aside. Thanks for watching, guys. My name's been Rabbit, and peace out.